Hey everyone, in this video I had the chance of reviewing the Giddy Up Wide and the Giddy Up XL Wide bike seats. So I'm just going to open these packages, I'm going to install them, and then test them out. The first one is the Giddy Up Wide, and it has reflectors, tools. Here is the seat. And there appears to be three modes. There's a button on the bottom, solid, flashing, and slow flashing. If you look closely, there's a compartment for a battery, which means that the battery is not rechargeable. This is the Giddy Up XL Wide. Inside the bag, we have reflectors and tools, a charging cable, and then the seat itself. So let's take it out of this bag. This is a very wide seat. It's very interesting. Here's the different angles and then the bottom. And there is a charging port right here and a button to turn the lights on. So there's the solid mode, flashing, and then a slower flashing feature. And that's it off. So let's get these installed. Right now we're going to install the seat and I can think of two ways to install this. Your seat post might have an end that looks like this. In that case, it's pretty simple. You would just loosen the bolts right here, which I've already done. This comes right off. You would just take the new one, put this on, then you can move this back and forth. You can adjust the angle. When you have your desired position, then you use the wrench and tighten them back up on both sides. And then that would be it. If your seat post does not look like this, and it looks something more similar to my road bike right here, you'd actually have to loosen this and then switch out the rails completely. In this case, you would just loosen everything completely. You would keep this part and then swap it out on the bike over here. So the Allen key that was provided does not fit. So I'm using something similar but it's on a socket. So I'm just going to loosen these brackets. Yours might be similar, but not identical. And then I'll loosen the one on the front as well. Once it's loose enough, I can take this off. I can put the new one on. Let's feed this through here. I can adjust the angle and how back and forth it is. And once I have the desired position, I'll just tighten this by hand first. And then I'll use my tool and completely finish tightening this. This other seat post I'm going to put on my wife's bike. So the install was similar where I just loosened these took the old seat off, put the new seat on, and then I'm just going to tighten this on both sides. Make sure you have your desired distance and angle. And it's installed. Here are the Giddy Up seats on my road bike and my wife's e-bike cruiser. And off the bat, they are very comfortable. I'm not sure what material is inside, but it feels like gel. This one on the left feels a lot more squishy and comfortable. The one on the right is a little more firm and there's like a shock. I don't know if they're adjustable, but there's a Phillips head screw that you may be able to loosen in order to get more bounce to that. I like that it has these LEDs and you can change the different settings. There's a solid one, a flashing, and then a slower flashing, which is cool. So that's what I like about these. It's safe at night. I would say, at least for my case, I have a road bike. Uh, this was the saddle that I was using before. It's a lot slimmer. And just for now, I'm going to put this one back on because when I was leaning forward and pedaling, I felt like my thighs were hitting this quite a bit, but that's just because I'm riding a road bike. If this was on a cruiser or exercise bike, I would like this a lot better. Uh, this one is very interesting. Um, as you can see, it's very wide. When I rode it, it grabbed both sides of my butt cheeks and then the front as well. And it was weird, but it felt very comfortable. It's like someone kind of cupping you from the bottom. 
and it was interesting. And because this is more of a cruiser, I don't feel like I have to pedal as much. I'm more upright, it was more comfortable. It's nice that it comes with a cover, so you can cover it when it's raining. This one has a rechargeable battery. This one, you have to replace the battery. The install is pretty simple. It takes two to 10 minutes, depending on your skill level. And it comes with the wrench and Allen key. Just note that the Allen key that it comes with might not fit your bike, so you might have to go to the hardware store and buy one that fits. A link for these products can be found in the description section below. I would recommend you check them out if you're looking for a very comfortable seat for your cruiser or exercise bike. And if you found this video helpful, please like it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. Thank you again for watching and take care.